the Bartram Trail Branch Public Library. My name is Carla Day and I'm the young adult librarian here. Today we are going to be making a washer necklace. Uh, this is made out of just a washer like you would get at the hardware store. If you can see that, there are different kinds that you can get, different sizes and all of that. This one is a half an inch with a half inch circle. But if you wanted to do another size, you could do that if you would like. Uh, if you got a kit from the library, what you should have is one of these washers, a flower charm. If you did decide to buy your own charms, uh, make sure that it has a jump ring on the end or buy a jump ring if you need that. One of the things to keep in mind is if you do have to buy jump rings, make sure you get good quality because if you get the cheap ones, they're not going to hold for you. So anyway. Uh, so you also need two metal beads, it, and they don't have to be the same as what we have in the kit. So you just need something that the hole in the middle is going to be large enough for your jewelry cord to go through. So you have it, one of those. And then you need a colored bead to put in between the two metal beads. And again, you need the 35 inch cord, okay? so. The first step that you need to do is to take your metal washer and you're going to take some Mod Podge. That is the other thing that you need is some Mod Podge and a sponge. You are going to put a layer of the Mod Podge on top of your metal washer. And then you are going to take one of your circles that is in your kit. If you, did, if you used your own paper, you could just lay your washer down and trace around and cut it out. So here you have uh, the, Mod Podge, the Mod Podge and then you put the paper over. The next thing that you do is you put a thin layer of Mod Podge on top of the washer. So let's do that, okay. Now what you're going to have to do is because if you modge podge the other, you're going to repeat that in a minute. But because if you laid it down like this, it's going to glue to whatever work surface you have. So you're going to have to wait for that to dry. If you decide to use a hair dryer to let it dry because this is metal, I would I would recommend that you not use the heat setting, put it on cool or no heat because you could burn yourself because that metal is gonna get very, very hot. So keep that in mind. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the other side where that's not what you should do, but because for our video, for the purposes of that, you're just going to repeat that. You're going to put your Mod Podge again down on your, circle, you're going to put a layer, then you're going to put your other side. Now, your paper is two-sided That if you got it from the library. If you, on this side, there's flowers, um, kind of colored flowers on both sides. On the other side, there's yellow. You can put either side that you want. If you want both sides to match, you can match the other side. If you would like it to look different, you could turn the necklace over and have a different Look, you could go ahead and put that. I'm, I'm going to put the other side, the yellow side, so I'm going to have my flowers and all of that. And this is flowered too, but it's yellow. And I'm going to repeat that. So now when I lay this down, it's going to stick to my plate. If you have any mess with the glue in the middle, that's kind of smooth it out. And, and uh, that will work, but it will dry clear. So don't worry about that. By the way, if you don't have Mod Podge, you can also use glue and you can put three parts of your Elmer's glue or whatever white glue that you have with one part water and, and that will work as well. Now, the, so we're going to, with the magic of television, we're gonna go ahead and I have one here that is uh, already dry. So um, I'm going to, Put, put that down for just a second. I'm going to pick up my flower charm and that jump ring that is on the flower charm, I'm going to thread my one end of my cord through that jump ring. Okay, I'm going to pull that down to about the center. Don't know if you can, okay. So I'm gonna put my two ends together I'm going to push 
that flower, it's very hard for you to see, but let's, let's see, maybe you can see it there. The flower is in the middle, and then I've got my two ends here. So flower there and like that. So the next thing that I am going to do is I am going to pick up my washer and my two ends, hold the two ends even. And I'm right-handed, so I've got the ends in my right hand, and I'm going to put it through the center of the washer and then I am going to, so I don't know if you can see that, but I've got the flower here. I'm holding that in one hand. I've got the ends in the other. And there's a loop here. When you hold it up, maybe you can see that against the paper. There's a loop here and I'm going to hold it by the flower and the ends and put the two ends through that loop and pull it down. And when you do that, it make it, this is going to hold it and your flower should be in the center of your necklace. And you can just kind of pull it around if it's not and just pull that pretty tight. So the next, so that's that part. So the next part is threading the beads on. And one of the things that you need to do, and if these ends aren't quite even, and mine actually didn't turn out to be quite even, I can even those up because there is some built-in extra cord. That's why it's a little bit longer than what you need. I'm going to cut those at angles, so at a 90-degree angle, so that whenever you go to put these through your bead, it's going to be a little bit easier to thread them in there. Let's see. I'm gonna do that again. These are, you, better scissors are a good idea. So I've got those cut at an angle and they're even. I'm going to put those through my bead. Okay, that went through. So I put one metal bead, I'm sorry, I should have said that. There's a me, the metal bead first and then I'm going to take my colored bead and I'm going to put the two ends through that, like that, and then the last step is to thread my two ends through, that metal, through the metal bead, and that's your necklace. Now, the, the final step that we have is we're going to take the, the two ends that you have and you are going to tie this just like the beginning step of your shoes. You're going, so that's where you just, okay, so put it apart, cross them over like an X, just like you were tying your shoes and fold under once, just like you would the first step and then do it again. Now what this is called is a surgeon's knot and that's going to hold better for you so that this doesn't break when you're wearing it. So that's what we've got. It's just, like I said, the first part of your shoe, but go under a, a, an extra time. Now you've got this loop here. You're gonna take your two ends, and just like tying your shoe again, you're going to tie that through, and that's a surgeon's knot, and that's gonna hold really well. Now before you, you make that knot really tight, go ahead and put it on and make sure that it's the length that you want it to be. If you don't like the length that it is, then you can make it shorter or a little bit. Um, I, I kind of went down pretty far. So I think what I'm going to do, because that was a little hard to see, is I am going to do that part again, just using my extra part of cord, and I'm gonna kind of do that on top of my paper, because it's a little hard when I was holding all of it and show you how that knot works. Uh, this is a step that you use in a lot of jewelry making. If you're using stretchy cord, that is something that you can do. So I'm going to pick this up and cross it over again, oh well, against that paper. It's kind of hard to see, but any, I'm going to do it again. Just cross it over, go under and under again, and then bring those two ends up and Put, put the end through the middle of the loop and then pull tight. 
but again don't tie it very tight until you're sure that you have it at the length that you want because it is pretty hard to take that knot out once you've tightened it down so I do thank you for coming today we that that is all that it takes to make your necklace and I hope that you will join us at the library again and very soon, our libraries are open for you to come in and check out books. You can also uh, put books on hold and come and pick them up if your family is not comfortable with that. So again, thank you for joining us today.